Finally, I have freedom to choose to. Freedom tomorrow, history. Kalaya ang kinakasan pa sa isayan. This is the theme of the Philippine Independence Day. Last year, this year, and next year. What a lovely, simple, yet strong thing that each and every one of us will have. We have our own interpretation that we can use or live by the way we want it. We celebrate the independence that our forefathers left for us. Today, we gather to celebrate a milestone in our nation's history. 126 years of independence. We are reminded of the sacrifices and bravery of our forefathers who fought for our children. My dear Kababaya, let us all ask each other how we can, as an individual, contribute to this thing, modern day's AI era. I'm here to celebrate Philippine independence, uh, the 126th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. I'm just looking forward to um, celebrating with the, all the community leaders and all the uh, folks who each and every day do things to support our community. And um, it, it's really in the spirit of, the, of Philippine independence. Here in America, this is where we live now, uh, but we continue to celebrate uh, that, that uh, cry for Kalyan, for freedom for our people, and we're experiencing it here in America also. Uh, what brings me here tonight is the annual Kalayan Gala, which is so important for our community to come together, really look back at the progress that we've made, our history, our heritage, our culture, uh, and also look forward. What's ahead? Uh, where do we want to see our community in 5, 10, 15 years? Uh, and this year in particular is a very special year for me. I'm actually on the ballot. I'm running for office and I won uh, the primary election uh, in March and I'm on the ballot again in November. So if elected, I would be the first uh, Filipina woman in the state. Tonight, I'm just looking forward to reconnecting with so many community leaders. Um, it's been a really tough last few years with COVID. And so being in this room, uh, I definitely don't take it for granted because um, you know during the pandemic, we couldn't meet, we couldn't see each other. And so we have a lot to be thankful for. And so really the question is, uh, what is our collective impact? What are we gonna do um, this year? What do we wanna accomplish? And so uh, really my call to action for the community is to hopefully get out uh, and get out to vote. And please wave the Philippine flag as we welcome our guest of honor, Senator from the Republic of the Philippines, Honorable Risa Ontiveros. Wherever we celebrate it in the world, um, it's really special when we Filipinos come together to celebrate that independence, now 126 years old, to honor our heroes, our forefathers and mothers who fought and who lived and who worked so that we can now uh, keep trying to make that independence really full and fully felt uh, on an everyday basis.
tonight we're celebrating Philippine independence here in Orange County. And yeah, tonight I'm binibining ng kalayaan. As a Filipina, I'm looking forward to celebrating my culture, my heritage. I grew up here in SoCal and I'm super proud to be Filipino. And you know, my parents instilled in me Filipino values and Filipino upbringing. So I'm really here for my parents and I'm really excited to be here tonight. What brings me here today is definitely this is something that um, every Filipino is, uh, you know, uh, looking forward to be part of the heritage, to be part of the culture. And it's fun. It's fun. It feels like we're home. We are the first Filipino opera, um, Karim and Jasmine. And I'd like to invite everyone, if you guys would want to watch, this is uh, a family-oriented um, show and uh, definitely cultural immersion, yes. On behalf of the Philippine Consulate General in Los Angeles and the Department of Foreign Affairs, I would like to congratulate Kalayaan for hosting such a beautiful event in commemoration of the 126th anniversary of the Proclamation of Philippine Independence. Every year, our celebration becomes grander, but always within the spirit of our celebration. I am very pleased to be part of this prestigious organization because our ideals is actually to support the Jose P. Rizal Monument, which is so dear to me because I am from Calamba Association, which is the Calamba City, the birthplace of our national hero. So it's so important for me and for my heart that we are dedicating most of our project to the monument of Jose P. Rizal in Carson. This is for our youth and for all the Filipino Americans here in Los Angeles. I'm looking forward uh, to bring back this guest that we have so that we can continue our humanitarian projects. We had feeding before and uh, hopefully we will be able to help two beneficiaries this year. And so we hope we can increase uh, awareness from our uh, constituents here. What I like about the community is uh, they like to get involved. Everybody really cares and everybody, you know, loves to promote our culture. Well, of course, the networking, uh, there's a lot of kababayans right here. Yeah. At least to know each other, greet each other, and celebrate the Independence Day. That's the actual essence of Kalayaan. You can make a difference. A difference that will grow and make a better future. Isang tulong sa malapag ng mundo, hindi man nakikita ngayon, bukas ay mapapansin. Allow yourself, your friend and my friend, to be a bridge, to reach out to others, our less fortunate brothers and sisters, Let's have the freedom to build a future that will be a history for our next generation. 